I'm Barry Overbeck. I'm the principal tuba of the Royal Montetrois Orchestra. Uh, I've been in the orchestra for seven years now already. Uh, it's, uh, it's very nice for me uh, to be in this orchestra. As you can imagine, this is, uh, well, this is a dream position for, uh, for a tuba player, of course. And I've always dreamt uh, about playing here. And I remember my father, he was a euphonium player in one of the military bands of Holland. And he played once a year with the, yeah. together with the Royal Navy Band one concert a year, and I, as a young kid, I would love go go here and listen in the hall. And uh, I, well, it was my dream ending up here, and this happened. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, how was your connection uh, to be finally playing tuba? You start on another instrument. Yeah, yeah. So as most young tuba players do, they start on euphonium, as I did, and me. And my so before because my father played, you know, bass and euphoniums and. Uh, so I also started on this, and I think I, I moved to tuba when I was 14 years old, something like this. Yeah. Played, uh, played E flat tubas, and, and later on, because I had to, you know, I had to move to Germany, or maybe at least have the opportunities ready to to play in Germany uh, for symphony orchestras. Yeah. And then I moved to playing F tubas and everything. But I, I played E flat, Western E flat tubas, the old one which I love to play, really. Really great, and uh, I think even a friend of mine has, has that instrument now. And yeah, he's not going to give it away anymore. <laughs> it's a great instrument. What is it so special uh, to play in this orchestra in this hall? Oh, it's it, well, as you say, it's the hall to start with. It's you know, I try, try to realize every day that I go that I come in. It's such a beautiful hall and so much history, and it just sounds so nice, you know. And everybody in the orchestra actually has this attitude of wanting to sound nice and want, wanting to sound beautiful. And if somebody has a small solo, it just tries to make it very, very beautiful, although it's maybe two notes. And that's, that's so much noticeable in this, in this orchestra. Yeah. So that's why it's so nice to, to be here. And especially my first two years were such a big learning place to, uh, in my playing. Yeah. So, so I imagine uh, you travel a lot with the orchestra in other countries. Yeah. And yeah. have some experience in other nice halls. Yeah, yeah, true. And it's it, you know, up in Japan, for instance, there are beautiful halls as well. Most halls in America are for our our orchestra a little, little bit more difficult to play, but um, yeah, but there are more beautiful halls in the world. But you know, this is always coming home. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Now you doing also some promotion activities for yourself or other yeah. projects that you're doing? Yeah, yeah. So I'm very busy at the moment with, uh, with my first solo CD which has five new pieces for tuba, which I think is very important that, that we promote the instrument tuba yeah. and, and inspire new young, young kids to, uh, to pick up the tuba again and uh, get rid of the hoopa uh, mentality mm -hmm. that's around it. And uh, so this CD, I'm, I'm right in the middle of it. It just had some premieres and everything. Yeah. Uh, in the fall of 2012, it will be released probably. Yeah. So I'm very excited about it. And you are also a teacher here in Amsterdam? Yes, I'm a teacher, yeah. And I have, uh, at the moment, it's not such a big class because, you know, it's, there are not so many positions uh, open. So I really want to be very precise on, on which persons I have. So I have actually three tuba students from Spain, which from Spain at the moment come a lot of young good players. And, uh, yeah, one of my students, in fact, in fact has a... Just bought a best and E flat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Which, he, which he's, you know, he's, he loves it very much, and um, he's going very well. Uh, and then one euphonium player. I have actually a student, uh, which is for me a little bit, you know, he wanted to study with, so much with me, but uh, probably um, if everything goes well, uh, I hope to send him to Stephen Mead next year for at least one year, and, and yeah. maybe he stays longer. I don't, but, but it's you know nice to co to coach these young young guys. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much for your for your time. No problem. Uh, to invite us for this nice interview, and uh, hopefully we see each other more and more frequently in the coming years. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alan. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Bye bye.